Isla Vista, once known for its out of control Halloween parties, may not be so scary this year. News Channel reporter John Palminteri joins us live with that story. Now, John, changes in recent years have toned down the party scene there. Yeah, there's really a shift out here. Isla Vista has more family and community events for Halloween than ever before. And it also has more strict rules on noise and live music parties. More than a week before Halloween, Isla Vista leaders and many residents set a different tone for the annual events that take place here. So we had a night market and arts festival last Saturday where we showcased local BIPOC artists in addition to indigenous rituals like danza. And then we also had a ton of thrifting vendors to promote sustainable sourcing of Halloween costumes. Years ago on and around Halloween, a chaotic street scene had a frightening look, sometimes on more than one night. Annually, there were multiple arrests and numerous medical calls. Now, there are strict rules and laws against live and excessively loud music, and it has a theme, keep it local and keep it safe. It's no amplified music beyond the confines of your home. So if you can hear it from the street past 6 p.m., then that will be an issue for yeah. law enforcement. We saw companies coming in from L.A. to host paid parties in residential areas. However, the new ordinances in place have been really effective. Years ago here at the top of the loop, this area used to be barricaded off and they had somewhat of a checkpoint you would go through before you went any further. Now the sheriff's department says while it will have a lot of presence, they will scale it up only if necessary. These events and alternative activities have caught on as a fresh alternative to traditional Isla Vista parties. It's all it's like sorts of different things, sorts of different activities um, and all kinds of people just coming together and creating something really amazing. For those who need resources, help or other assistance, the Community Services District has released some practical tips, safety information and hotline numbers. We have an entire web page dedicated to Halloween resources from information about the ordinances to where safety stations are located, survivor resources yeah. and just about anything in between. There's also a new Day of the Dead altar that's available for community members to visit. And residents here and from nearby Galita homes can add someone they want to remember. New artwork has also gone up along with the diverse display. That was something that we wanted to do as a shift and really show the beautiful culture that we have here in Isla Vista yeah. and do something for people beyond just students. We could promote Isla Vista as a more inclusive place rather than just, you know, strictly like Isla Vista's like party central. And with this toned down Isla Vista Halloween, presumably there will be a savings, a big cost savings for Santa Barbara County for this unpermitted event. It was very expensive for the overtime for the sheriff's department. Of course, the extra fire, AMR, uh, search and rescue, triaging all this, barricades, fencing, it got costly. Hopefully it'll be toned down. It'll be a local and safe Halloween. Reporting live in Isla Vista, I'm News Channel reporter John Palmenteri. Hi on crime now. The man accused of bombing the Santa Maria courthouse faces new federal charges tonight.